So the 2019 turkey season started off with a bang. I just so happened that Kurt asked me to come film him and Natalie on a father-daughter hunt. It turned out awesome. I was so stoked to watch her shoot a turkey. And then I was ready to get focused to shoot two turkeys with my bow. That's all I wanted this year. I've been do trying to do it for years with a bow, had some unfortunate mistakes, but you know, bow hunting turkeys is not an easy thing to do. So this hunt started out awesome. I've been turkey hunting this farm for several years and I felt like I finally had the birds kind of patterned to where they were roosted and where we could get them off the roost quickly. It just so happens I, I took Kurt to this farm. He shot a magnificent bird right out of the same spot that I put this blind. Me and Ian, we were in there. Birds were hammering in the morning. Next thing you know, they fly right down to the decoys. So the birds come right into the decoys just how you want it. I may in retrospect have set the, dec the decoys just a little bit too close to the blind. You know, when you're bow hunting turkeys, you're thinking, oh, I want an eight yard shot or I want a 10 yard shot. Sometimes, especially if you're on a hill like we were, you want them a little bit further out because the exact same thing that happened to me has happened to a lot of you and it's a terrible feeling. successfully say that that's a first. I shot the blind. <laughs> so I was super confident as I drew my bow. I hit my anchor point and everything was perfect. It just all lined up. I didn't know what it was at first. And all I look over and Ian's just laughing at me. I shot the blind. Well, uh, depressing, but uh, that Tom still got one to her right. And it's still super early, so just have to see what happens. So I try and learn every time that I'm out in the woods with Kurt. Now, this day, I learned a lot. So as me and Kurt got set up, we were hearing a couple gobbles here and there, nothing really crazy. We had some birds in front of us, but there's a big creek running through this farm and we just didn't know if they were gonna fly down on our side or the other side. Just so happens that they flew down on the other side. But we decided we were going to stick it out and see if anything else came. Sure enough, they did. Hey, Kurt, where those big gobblers were off, there's, there's two, two hands. Let's look what it looks like over there. Hopefully they got some gobblers with them. I think they should. <laughs> Birds came in totally silent. They came from my right, and Kurt actually was on the right side of the blind. So I couldn't shoot around him, so I had to let him get out there a little ways, and they strutted their stuff big time before I got a shot off. Kurt, there's Jake's. Jake's right here, like eight yards. How close? About eight yards. Pop it to the right. Yep. I see him, I see him, I see him. Be real careful. So the birds kind of all bunched up right in a spot that I couldn't shoot. So I decided that they were all jakes. The first one that came behind this tree, 
was gonna get whacked. So this year, I was off of work, so I was able to turkey hunt a lot more. Went out with some really good friends, filmed some cool hunts, and that, you know, I learned a lot. That's all you can do every season is just continue to learn and continue to learn and continue to learn. Just so happens that right after I shot that bird, or shot the blind, I should say, uh, I lost that farm. And I've been hunting that farm since I was a little kid, but I'm really happy that I at least got to take one and make some really good memories with some really great guys.